All right, Roman here with UG Studios. Today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about conversion quality. Behind me I've got the uh, Burrow B2 Bomber. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this and some of its features. And I also have the RME Fireface. I'm gonna talk about the converter differences and if I feel like it's a worthy investment. And if so, at what point I think you should do it. So with that, let's get into it, shalom. So talking about converters, I feel like it's something that's kind of uh, a little bit of a debatable issue on whether it's worth it or whether it's not, considering that most standalone converters are very, very expensive, where as an interface, you can get something that does all in one for sometimes equally or less. I definitely feel like it's worth it at some point to invest in a high quality converter. I'm gonna tell you why. But before we do that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Burl. So I've landed on the Burl, which is a two channel AD converter. So that's analog to digital conversion. So it's taking all of my analog gear and it's converting it to digital, which is bringing it into the computer. So basically it's bypassing the converters in my RME and it's only using the converters within the Burl. One of the main differences that I noticed is the RME conversion is absolutely fantastic and they're known for making uh, great, great interfaces. But switching over, I did notice that the RME had a bit of high-end sharpness. I'm very critical when I'm buying new pieces of gear and with this piece of gear, I had a 30-day return policy. If I didn't like it, I could send it back and during that time, I did a lot of critical listening. The conversion quality on the Burl seemed a bit darker, but as I continued to listen for the time that I was testing it, although it was darker, it had more depth whereas the RME the brightness was higher up in some of the frequencies that I sometimes battle with in the mix so I noticed that though the burrow did seem a little bit darker the overall sound of it was much more organic I've had some time to shoot this out against other interfaces so I've shot the burrow out against the RME I've shot it out against a couple apogees I've shot it out against some Apollos and each time I have been able to identify the burl right away. And the main thing that I can say is that the conversion quality when it comes to the burl just has a much more natural, organic sound to it, which is something that I've definitely enjoyed implementing into my recording process. A lot of people say it's kind of hard to justify because of the deep price point that most of these have and the standalone converters, most of them only have two channels. So it's like, is it worth that, you know, two to $3,000 investment to get you five maybe to 10% better. My thoughts are it doesn't seem like it is initially because you're doing quick tests and kind of just A-Bing and it just seems like, oh, it's only five to 10% better. Is that really worth that two to $3,000? But you have to think about it over time. How much time or how much mixing how much are you gonna be battling over a year? So when I think about it like that, to me, investing in a high quality converter seems like a smart thing to do because I did notice that it added a certain amount of depth to everything that I'm recording. Since the converters do only have two channels, sometimes if you're recording more than that, you are gonna to have to still break out and record directly to your interface. But for most of the stuff that I'm doing, two channels is more than adequate, so I've really enjoyed having this in my space now. So basically one of the cool features on the Burrow is it has an input knob which by adjusting this will allow you to drive into the converter harder. You can hit the transformer and saturate your signal or you can pull it back and have a really clean signal. So that's one of the really cool features about this. So I'd like to talk about at what point I feel like you should upgrade. There's a couple things that come into play. I think really important is obviously having a nice microphone, a nice microphone preamp, and then even before I would really consider getting a higher quality converter really start to get a handle on mixing because if you don't have too much of a handle on that, it's not gonna make as much of a difference. But if you've got your mix process down, you've got a nice microphone and you've got a nice preamp, I would say definitely at some point, it's great to consider investing. I've really enjoyed having this one. Again, I've done a bunch of A and B tests and I have noticed that there, to me, it's a substantial difference and it's definitely an audible difference that I find very pleasant to my ears. So the main question on whether it is worth it to invest into a high quality converter that is just focused and dedicated to doing one thing and that's conversion. To me, it's definitely worth it. Again, if you think about like a standalone interface, you have multiple converters, ins and outs for speakers. You've got instrument, uh, you've got line levels, you've also got headphone amps. So they're great boxes at doing a bunch of different things, but you have this one box by itself that is just focused at doing one thing and doing one thing really well. So again, if you're at a similar point in your journey and you've kind of got a good grasp on your equipment and the mixing process and you're in a good flow, I would definitely recommend at least giving them a try. I know most companies will give you like a 30 day return policy, try it and send it back. To me, it's definitely been worth it. Again, I've really enjoyed having this piece of equipment in my studio or something that I'm gonna be holding on to. So I'll leave you with that. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop some comments below. I'd love to chat, all right? Shalom.